Here with a three-set victory for Red Oak tonight over their rival Shenandoah in the first round of the playoffs. And Chloe, how does it feel? It feels absolutely amazing. <laughs> And how tough is it from a scheme standpoint, from a just kind of energy standpoint, to play against a team that you're so familiar with? Well, obviously, everybody around here knows the rivalry of Red Oak and Shenandoah. So it's always, we always have that extra fire when we come in here. And we knew they were going to give us everything they had. And we had to come out and execute. And I think, for the most part, we did that pretty well. You got off to a really great start there in set number one, but set number two, you guys found yourselves down three points there late. Uh, you had a timeout. What was said there in the huddle? Um, get your crap together, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> really great. And, and Chloe, now moving on in the playoffs, uh, and just what's kind of been such an odd 2020 season, what's kind of been the mentality of this team? Um, well, the mentality, we came into the season knowing that people were going to look at us as an underdog, but we never had that mindset. We knew that we were so good of a team last year because this year's team was pushing those girls in practice. So obviously we miss them like crazy, but we are really, really happy with our bat. We feel like we're very balanced. Obviously we have Lexi who everyone knows Lexi Johnson, but that opens up Tori and Liz and Lennon who Lexi will have a committed block so it gives them more opportunities and I think we're just really balanced this year and we're really working to our advantage with that. Absolutely right and now playing in such a short amount of time not knowing who you'll play yet What's well, the next 24 hours like for your team? Um, well, we come back to practice tomorrow and we'll regroup. We'll find out whether we're playing Atlantic or Clorinda. And we know they both have um, their strengths and their weaknesses. So we'll definitely work on defending their strengths and trying to go out their weaknesses and give it our best shot. Congrats on the win, Chloe. Good luck in the postseason. Thank you very much. Here with head coach Montgomery after the win and the sweep for Red Oak after a very familiar Shenandoah opponent here in first round of the playoffs here in the state of Iowa. And coach, thoughts on tonight's match? Um, you know, I thought it was a really good like first match out. It's, you know, this kind of when you don't play till seven, you don't have like the typical freshman JV matches in front of you. You just have a lot more time. So I was really impressed with how we came out hot right out of the bat, right out of the gate um, and just kept that energy. You know, a lot of times we you kind of ebb and flow and you have those ups and downs. And so I was really, really proud of the girls for coming in, staying sharp right out of the bat and keeping that energy going. So. Yeah, absolutely. Right. You started out really strong. But there in set number two, you guys found yourselves down three points points, called a timeout, went on a big run. What did you say in that timeout? I just, you know, told them a lot of it was our errors. I mean, credit to Shenandoah. They did a good job of, like, looking for those tips and finding ways to kind of pull us out of what we wanted to do, too, and a good team will do that, too. So I just kind of pointed out to them, we were making some unforced errors. Um, we just needed to pick up our game a little bit and play closer to our game plan and play our game. Um, and they did. So yeah, Absolutely. And, and Coach, I want you to just kind of reflect on the season as a whole. It's been such an odd not knowing if you're going to play, what the situation will be, and now you have your first playoff win. What does it feel like? You know, it feels I'm just really thankful, number one, for the season. Like you said, like, you know, we I remember when we started in July, it was, gosh, we, you know, oh, yeah, a couple weeks will be done. And then August came around and here we are. And so I'm just really thankful that, you know, we that we're here, that we're able to have a season. Um, and then number two, you know, we, we had a great speaker, our wrestling coach, um, Coach Podliska talked to us before the match and, and just kind of emphasized the point that, um, you know, no, one, not a lot of people had a lot of faith that we may be more than a 500 team. Um, and I credit that 100% to my seniors. I mean, they came in from day one and I mean, they, they, I never got the feeling that they thought, oh, it's a rebuilding year. And, and yeah, that's what's great about this program, this community. Um, every year it's, you have kids that are waiting their turn, ready to come on the court and, and be big impact players. And, um, you know, I, I'm just very, very proud to be their coach and to have it's inspiring when you see them believe in themselves as much as they do. So, And now, Coach, with such a quick turnaround here in the postseason, uh, what will be the next 24 hours like? Well, you know, obviously, whether it's Clarinda or Atlantic, it'll be someone that we know a lot about, that knows a lot about us. Um, so it'll be just, you know, we've been working on things, building towards regionals. I mean, every year we kind of try to throw in a couple new things um, just to kind of keep things fresh. But just, just you know, coming in tomorrow, being ready to do what we do, controlling the things we can, being aggressive on the serve, um, making those huge heads up defensive plays. Um, we do a lot of that um, already. So, I, you know, just doing more of what we do. And like you said, it's, it's a quick turnaround. We're, I mean, we'll be ready to play again by Wednesday and then, you know, in less than a week if we're lucky enough, uh, you know, to go to the big one. So good luck, coach. And congrats on the win. Thank you. Thanks.